So, the moment we never thought we would see in our lifetime is now here, staring straight at us. Russia has attacked Ukraine, and Europe is now in war. Thousands of people are dying, and millions are fleeing for their lives. In times like this, it's so easy to panic and feel bad. But we have to try to stay as calm as possible. We should, however, be more prepared than before. For example, I bought a little extra of canned beans, pasta, and other dry products that can last a very long time. Having some extra water stored can also be a good thing. I have also looked up where I have my closest shelter which happens to be right under me, in my complex's basement. If you don't know where yours is, it might be a good idea to look it up. But maybe the most important thing to remember is to still do what makes us happy, what gives us joy. That's what I've been doing, like the other day when I really felt like looking out over something, to experience a view, and to simply admire nature. I used to walk up this mountain. Maybe it doesn't look much, but it's steep. Okay, I think I am about to find the perfect spot for what I'm looking for for today. We'll find out. Soon, it looks like there's a view here. See, this looks like it's a view. And it is! Oh. Perfect! Look at this. Good morning! I actually just woke up, but I'm already cooking, 
because my dad and my brother is gonna arrive here soon. We're gonna head out. But before that, we want to have some food in our stomachs. And it's such a beautiful day outside. It's sunny again. It's been sunny for like over a week. So spring really is in the corner. Or around the corner. <laughs> um, it's just amazing. Uh, it gives me so much joy to see everything shifting. And I've e even seen a few flowers popping up. It's like spring is literally here. But it also makes me a little bit sad because I don't know how much of this spring my grandma gets to experience or this summer. But I'm trying to look at it as positive as I can in the way of looking at what I have instead of what I won't have. And with that I mean not everyone gets to say their goodbyes properly. Not everyone gets to say how much someone have meant to them. Uh, we do get that opportunity. So I'm trying to look at it as positive as I can, even though it's of course hard. And spending a lot of time outside helps me so much. Another bummer is that my camera is broken and that's why I'm recording with a crappy camera like this. I will have to try to be creative with how I record stuff now because I don't have a camera. It's the microphone that broke or the jack for the microphone. So I had problems with recording audio and I had to return it. So the rest of the video will probably not look as good, but I hope you will still enjoy um, following me in my life for this video. And hopefully I will have my camera back in the next video, but they did say it can take up to six weeks. Okay, I think my dad is actually outside now, so I'm gonna go. I ended this week by hanging out with some of my very best friends, Sandra and Frida. I even got to meet Sandra's friend Bella, who was just the sweetest. We went into the city, had a little something to eat, and then danced and laughed in front of the sunset. And for a moment, it felt like there were no war, and nothing to worry about. <laughs>